Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Marlin 780 series of rifles. Now these were made from uh, about 1971 to 1987, I believe, 88. Uh, it included the, the 780, which was a 22 long rifle with a box fed magazine. Uh, you had the 781, which was a tube fed uh, 22. And both of those shot uh, short, long, and long rifle. And then you had the 782, which was 22 mag box fed. And then the 783, which was a tube fed 22 mag. And there was also the Glenfield Model 25, which was basically a dressed down 780. And that's what we have here is the Glenfield Model 25. Bolt action, seven round uh, box fed magazine. Uh, a birch stock. Now the 780 would have had a, a American walnut stock. And there's a few other small differences. Uh, the sights are uh, a little bit better in the 780. And I believe the trigger guard was probably metal on the 780 as well. But um, yeah, we're gonna take some shots with this. And then we've got a 783, which is the 22 mag uh, tube fed. So yeah, let's take a few shots with these and. Uh, see what we can do. Get my ears in. All right, let's uh, let's shoot some of those seals down there first. Now we're shooting the uh, Norma match. One thing about this Model 25 is it has a really nice trigger. Very clean, crisp. Really lends itself well to uh, being accurate. Uh, let's pop some shorts in here now i don't know if they're going to feed properly because this magazine is uh, a little bit suspect there's a piece that broke off but we'll see if it'll cycle some shorts you don't see box fed magazines that'll feed shorts and long rifle very often all right let's see if we can hit anything with this Yeah, and it does feed. Not bad, we're about uh, 30 yards here, give or take. Boy, I'm hiding all my uh, steel targets down there. That one's fun. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's set that aside and let's take a look at this 783. Like I said, this does have an American walnut stock. You can always tell because it'll have this bullseye here. Uh press checkering. This gun has been refinished at some point. I can tell because the the checkering has been sanded down. Uh, but other than that, they did a pretty good job on it. The uh, front side is uh, driftable, driftable for windage. Um, it is scope, uh, grooved for a scope. Uh, we've got this Arms Corps 22 mag in here. I picked some of that up in Tulsa this last year. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. Let's uh let's put this on paper. For that top right target. Is 
that hitting left? Right. Right. Okay, let's uh let's get the gong involved here. Yeah, I like that sound. Well, it needs drifted a little bit. Okay. Let's uh let's load up a couple more. Let's try these VMAX 30 grain Hornadies. Now the nice thing about the tube fed 22 mag is it'll hold 10 rounds. You don't see as many of these uh tube feds in 22 mag. We'll just put a few rounds in there. I want to shoot that 25 again. Okay. Let's put these on paper. We'll go that left target this time. No, let's stay on the right one. Oh. Ooh, those VMAXs are a little hotter. I'm shooting a little high. All right. Well, that is the 783. Warm that barrel up a little bit. Yeah, let's shoot this... Uh, this Glenfield 25 again. Well, I sure like this little rifle. And the nice thing about these is you can still pick them up pretty darn cheap. I think each of these was right at the $200 mark. And uh, good shooting, good shooting little rifles for that kind of money. Now, Remington bought Marlin in uh let's see that was 2007 so uh when you're looking at these um on the left side of the barrel usually it's on the left side by the receiver if it was made by the original marlin it'll have a jm stamp there uh, some people say that the remington made marlins were just uh they had some issues i've never owned a remington marlin so i can't say myself um, now they were bought again by ruger in in 2020 and by all accounts uh, ruger's doing a pretty good job with the marlin rifles all right let's see if i can hit some of those little bitty steels on the left Well, not today. Let's put this on paper. Uh, top left target. A bit low. I've had a little bit of trouble with this magazine with it being broken like it is. Yeah, I'm jammed up here. Let me get another couple rounds in here. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about these, the, the 780 series, and if, uh, you know, the Glenfield 25. I've been pretty happy with them. All right, we'll take a couple more shots and, and call it. All right, I don't think we rang the gong with this thing. Yeah, 
Let's get that spinning target out of the way. Oh, it missed. There we go. And put a couple more on paper. Yep, that last shot, just not wanting to feed. Well, anyways, guys, that's the uh, Marlin 780 series. Of course, the Glenfield 25. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it, um, what your experience has been with them. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. God bless.